for that, bro. Y'all not fight for that, bro. Y'all think because y'all hanging out the top of the sunroof, y'all cool. Y'all not cool, bro. It's not cool, bro. Look at, let me go back. Let me go back. Let me go back. Let me go back. Let me go back a little bit, bro. Look at this, man. Look. Look at this. Y'all think because y'all hard. Y'all think this hard. Y'all think this fight? This cool? This, it, why y'all ain't get out the car if y'all so bad about it? Get out the car and walk down. Y'all get on all these songs. Tomorrow, some y'all walking down, people. He got hit in the back of the middle. Bro, get out the car. Why you in the car? And then you hitting all these everybody and everybody but who supposed to be hit? What it is, two-time gang. Dirt face nigga, dirt face. Two-time in this bitch, y'all know. Got my little military red on the day. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you're family, you should have a membership. No, I'm just fucking with y'all. Go ahead and get y'all a membership, man. Today, on a big screen TV, we got Nate Benz from the Bronx in her game, or whatever that is. Slattery game. A little branch off on the slaughter gang, I guess, whatever they want to call it. Uh, Spinner Benz, sister Nate Benz, you know. Supposedly they supposed to do some wild shit and now they face the consequence for it. So we finna get into it. Just go ahead and hit the like button for me. Don't, don't be that lame person that comes to challenge your watch. Go ahead and hit the like button. Thank you. And we finna get into it for sure, for sure. Nay Benz is a female drill rapper from the Bronx who just came home after serving two years on a gun case. She wanted to take over the drill scene and hit the mainstream, but instead she got wrapped up in a crazy Rico case and the cops say she's calling the shots for one of the most brutal gangs in the city. It's a wild story from the jump. And today, we're Spin bringing it all down. Looking at in July 2024, the NYPD Gun Violence Suppression Division suited up with bulletproof vests, helmets, and shields to head into the Bronx. The reason they rode through so heavy like that is because the gang they were chasing is allegedly one of the deadliest gangs in the Bronx. They're known as SB or the Slattery Boys. SB also goes by Slaughtery because they're so brutal. They're named after the Slattery Playground on East 183rd uh, okay. Street in the Bronx, and the cops have been trying to take them down for years. The NYPD hit SB with a massive 176 oh, count indictment Chico. that included charges for robbery, shooting, I and attempted. I swear it's straight Chicos for, that work for the NYPD, bro. Like y'all got no real niggas on the on the staff at all. NYPD, uh, NY, in New York, yeah, it's straight Chicos on that boy. The murder. The investigation started in Chico 2022 and after police started looking for four suspects who were involved in 19 different robberies in the Bronx and Queens, 19? all in the same month. During the last robbery, the victim was an off-duty cop who ended up in the hospital with a fractured skull. Muhammad Chowdhury, the off-duty cop, was jogging in the Castle Hill neighborhood of the Bronx, where he lived. Video footage showed three suspects run up to Muhammad and jump him from behind. The robbers took his wallet and left him lying on the sidewalk before escaping in a black car. Muhammad had to be rushed to the hospital and treated for brain bleeding. Police connected the incident. Look, look, there was a Chico. Look, he was like an older Chico. Told y'all straight the Chico. robberies that had been happening in the Bronx and Queens. Later the same day that Muhammad Chowdhury was jumped, the same gang was allegedly involved in a broad daylight shootout that injured a 73-year-old woman and a 15-year-old girl. The cops claim the robbers were associated with the 1300 gang, who were responsible for at least six different shootings. The investigation turned into a massive gang takedown that targeted both the 1300 gang and the Slattery Boys. In a period of 18 months, the cops claimed the 1300 gang and SB committed over 21 shootings that injured at least 10 innocent bystanders. The official operation started in 2023, but the cops it's rushed to get it finished because SB was allegedly tearing up the Bronx. They raided SB's territory and booked 22 affiliates, including Nate Benz. SB knew that they had a lot of heat on them, but some of them even tried to turn their cribs into bunkers to keep the cops out. They put bedposts against the doors and allegedly drilled holes that they could shoot through. Luckily, nobody got shot during the raid, but SB still made a lot of noise. When the cops were walking Nate Benz and some of her homies out in cuffs, they were all screaming and shouting out the gang. And when a reporter Big asked one of them asses. if they were a trigger puller, they told her, I don't pull no triggers. The only thing I pull is your mother. The cops said nobody was safe in the Bronx when SB was around. Prove Back my point every time they show on the camera, y'all. Yeah. King and Dayron Williams from SB allegedly ran up on some dudes playing cards on Morris Ave around East 184th Street and started letting off shots. I That's seen crazy. King busted six rounds at the Ops, but missed every shot and ended up hitting three innocent people instead. See what I be fucking talking about? You see me spitting this shit real. You see me spitting this real, man. Y'all hit everybody but who y'all supposed to. Y'all be shaking. 
trying to twerk it. I know y'all be twerking the Glock because y'all really be shaking. They're like, I'm going to twerk the Glock. I know because you're going to shake the whole time. You was really scared and miss. Just stop shooting at people. Just stop. Because y'all can't aim for real. Y'all hit everybody in their mama, but who's supposed to be hit? Come on, man. Nassim King and Dayron Williams ran off on foot, but then the op shot back and turned the situation into a full-on shootout. Dayron Williams got hit while Nassim King was shooting back at the ops, but the only people he shot were the innocent bystanders. Then a month later, Nassim Yo, King and another dude from SB named Phoenix Charlie slid on the ops again. Phoenix Charlie what the, the fuck is that, trick, nigga? He still I watched hit a too many movies. Was walking down the street and missed all the ops. Phoenix Charlie didn't just use guns, though. Back in 2023, Phoenix Charlie allegedly posted a video where he showed how to sneak knives into the courthouse. And then just a week later, he brought a knife to court and almost killed one of SB's ops with it. Phoenix fuck, Charlie and some other SB affiliates were in the courthouse shit. and they spotted some ops on the fifth floor. Phoenix and his homies started pressing the ops. You seen that big ass life sentence on the screen? But you, he took out the knife, shit. slashed a woman, and cut her open from her chest to the stomach. What the fuck? Even kids at school weren't safe from SB. Some SB affiliates spotted their ops outside of a school in the Bronx and started letting off shots. A nine-year-old boy called 911 because the bullets were flying everywhere and he didn't know what to do. What's crazy about the hey, SB? What the fuck, these niggas? That's why y'all be hitting everybody in a mama, but y'all, y'all scared to get out of the car, y'all niggas. Bro, y'all look so ugly doing that shit, bro. That shit is not fire, bro. It's not fire, bro. Y'all not hard for that, bro. That's not hard, bro. You not hard for that, bro. Y'all not fire for that, bro. Y'all think because y'all hanging out the top of the sunroof, y'all cool. Y'all not cool, bro. That's not cool, bro. Look at, let me go back. Let me go back. Let me go back. Let me go back. Let me go back a little bit, bro. Look at this, man. Look. Look at this. Y'all think because y'all hard. Y'all think this hard. Y'all think this fire? This cool? This, it, it, why y'all ain't get out the car if y'all so bad about it? Get out the car, walk down. Y'all get on all these songs, talking about something. Y'all walking down, people. He got hit in the back of the melon. Bro, get out the car. Why you in the car? And then you hitting all these, everybody in there, but who supposed to be hit? Come on, man. Tell me, man. Find everywhere, and he didn't know what to do. What's crazy about the SB situation is that they actually started as a dance crew back in the day called TAG. In the early 2000s, Light Feet, aka Getting Light, started Man. in Harlem and spread across the city. There were a lot of dance <laughs> crews all over did. the place, but TAG started around Taibao Ave and then moved to Slattery Park. Ooh, that boy. The reports, they started gangbanging a few years later, and it really turns up when a dude from the set named C Easy was shot and killed. The Rico case isn't the only time the cops tried to wipe SB out. Back in 2017, 20 SB affiliates got booked after the police investigated them for four years. After C Easy died, SB went on one of the most brutal crime sprees in the city, and the cops knew they had to slow him down. They got turned in 2013, down. three SB Two dudes times. named Juan Calderon, Joaquin Wright, and Abraham Moore allegedly killed a dude named Khalid Adams because Khalid Adams paralyzed Juan Calderon's brother in the shooting. SB was punishing every op they could find, and in 2015, Joaquin Wright and Abraham Moore caught a dude lacking inside a shop and cut him to pieces. It wasn't just the ops that were going the after fuck? them. In 2016, a dude from SB named Tristan Ortiz stabbed a random guy to death because the other dude wouldn't give him $2. SB was $2. even robbing families who were trying to buy Christmas gifts. In 2014, three SB affiliates robbed a man and his two teenage kids while they were shopping. And during the robbery, the SB dude stabbed one of the teenagers twice in the back. And after an SB affiliate was killed in 2015, some of his homies went to a bodega after his wake and stabbed a random person and punctured their lung. The cops took down 20 members, but they still couldn't wipe SB out. Some of the OGs got locked up for a long time though, and the cops say Nate Ben stepped up and started calling shots for the crew. It's not clear if Nate Ben's ever pulled the trigger on anyone, but the cops think she's one of the biggest shot callers in the crew. It's wild if she really is the one sending hits though, because Nate Benz is just 18 years old and was only home from jail for a few months before SB got hit with the Rico case. Back in 2022, she was booked on a gun charge and spent two years in juvie. She was only 16 when she got hit with the case, but Nate Benz was allegedly already heavy in the streets. And before she got locked up, she hopped in the booth and started dissing the ops on record too. Oh, that little moon out of she, oh, she, oh, she bought that. Oh, that shit not five of it. Oh, she bought that. She must be stepping on shit. Oh, I, I can, you, you gotta let me know. She better, bro. Don't be putting no false story on this, on this bitch, bro. Come on now, man. Y'all, okay. But this shit facts, bro. But this shit is idiots. They the whole they're a bunch of idiots. You know what I'm saying? I just you idiots, y'all. Ooh, y'all just so slow, bro. Like y'all don't use y'all. Ooh, y'all 
y'all so slow, bro. Like y'all do a bunch of dumb junk, just stabbing and shooting people for no reason. It's the, I ain't heard about no going get back to the people who did it. Y'all just winning rampaged on random people. Like, man, come on, man. What? SBSB for a lot of sets in the Bronx. And on the track, get fancy. Nay Benz took shots at the YGs and drillies when she raps. Spin through the S and your head gon' get popped. If you try to get Benty, we do them like AJ. Mix it with Lottie, it's hitting the same way. They know our body, we get back the same day. RIP Nazi was throwing up Rayway. AJ was a drilly affiliate who died in a car crash. And Wu Lottie was a YG who got stabbed to death when he was walking around OG's territory. Nate Benz was getting dissed too. Like on the track Off the Mud Part 2, when JB Savage rapped, Spin through the S, I'm throwing more than six. Like, catch Nate Benz, she get flipped like a brick. And on the same track, Eddie G's rapped, If I catch Nate Benz, she get beat with the grip. How your team no L's, but your main's in my split. Their homie M.EBK did SB2 and said, Smoking on easy, got put on the stretcher. Fuck all the ops, got the knocks in the sweater. Say Drilly also did Nate Benz on the track Cry Me a River and rapped, I can't wait till I see Nate Benz. Die S, all them boys straight fans. Ban through the Ray, black truck, white vans. Some of the ops were dissing Nate Benz, but they dissed their homie Smelly even more. Smelly was an SB affiliate who was tight with Lil TJ back in the day. Lil TJ came up repping SB too, and before he blew up in the industry, he used to be on the block with Smelly. Then in 2016, Smelly allegedly sold a dirt bike that was worth $300 to a dude named Hector for $80. Smelly left after he sold Hector the bike, but then he came back 10 minutes later and told Hector he wanted it back. Hector wouldn't give it up though, so Smelly and his crew started hitting them. That's when Hector pulled out a knife and stabbed Smelly to death. After he died, the ops started dissing Smelly like crazy. On the track Deadly, say Drilly raps, get low, move tactic, gooey hop out, he gon' shoot through the jacket. Writing O's on the book, need a packet. Smelly got poked, got put in the casket. Before Nadi Osama was stabbed to death, he did Smelly on the track 401k and rapped, Bitch, I'm a demon and I towed a pipe. Nigga Smelly a bitch, he got poked for a bike. Shot they do a lot of fucking stabbing in New York, bro. Like, they be stabbing like this shit. Prison, cause they, they don't got, I guess what, they don't got a lot of guns, there's some shit like that. But all this shit is just, just ridiculous, bro. It's just egregious how all these motherfuckers in, they mind is just not, Pro producing the, the follicle and brain cells that is supposed to be sending up the stem membrane and sh I don't know what to call it, but it ain't human, man. These motherfuckers is wild, bro. They and they doing that just for fun and put it in a song. Like, what is the the erratic situation that causes y'all to act obnoxious and all different type of preposterous ways? I don't give a fuck if it made you jump off a bridge. Go do that. Stop stabbing. Regular people like y'all just fucking prison babies from birth or some shit. I don't know, man. It also shit. started dissing Smelly, even though he used to be cool with Lil TJ. Lil TJ allegedly helped Shy K get his record deal, and he clapped back on IG and aired Shy K out for cloud chasing. Lil TJ also clowned Shy K for wearing Lil TJ's old coat in interviews, so Shy K told Lil TJ to kill himself. Smelly and Lil TJ were super tight before Smelly died. And on the track No Escape, Lil TJ rapped, Me and Smelly sitting in the trap, smoking on the pack. Wrong crib, all you smell is crap. And I done put my trenches on the rap. I wish I could go back to August 14th to be exact. That's when my nigga Smelly would be here. Trauma so severe, I had to watch him crying out for air. But after Lil TJ blew up, some of the dudes in SB stopped rocking with him. It's not clear what went down behind the scenes, but rumors say that after TJ made it as a star in the rap game, some SB affiliates started beefing with him because TJ didn't take them out of the trenches with him. One of the dudes who got taken down in the SB Rico was named Shiloso, but before the cops picked him up, he was beefing with little TJ on IG and called him a clown. Smelly wasn't the only loss SB took though. Nay Benz was tight with a dude from the set named Cal G. He was already putting heavy pressure on the ops. Before he died, Cal G and his brother Rico jumped the dude for dissing Smelly. And they even took the dude's pants off him in the middle of the street just to take the disrespect to another level. According to rumors, Cal G was spitting on the ops in Harlem and someone from Sugar Hill killed him. Nay sure, Benz yeah. and the rest of SB have been beefing with the old wives in Harlem for a long time. And Nay Benz was even jumped by them back in the day before she got locked up. Nay Ben said she couldn't stop crying after Cal G got killed. And on the track rolling explosives, she rapped, throw up the O, now we on him. G2 got me feeling like Jordan. Lost Cal G, I'm outside every morning. 
Then just a few weeks before Nay Bands and the rest of SB got hit with the Rico, they lost a dude named Tommy Lowe. It's not clear what really went down, but rumors say it was some personal beef that got Tommy Lowe killed and the ops weren't the ones who took him out. The streets were hot when Nay Bands got out of jail, but fans thought she was going to make it out of the trenches. She dropped the track Jail Freestyle and ran up over 300k views on YouTube, but Nay Bands made it clear she wasn't leaving the streets alone. Nay reported the track in jail and was taking crazy shots at the ops like, say drilly but don't hold no weight, empty the clip and watch they skate, bitch I'm the Mac, I'ma get it and take it, Noah got beat cause his shoulders couldn't shake. Noah was an OG's affiliate who allegedly had some kind of medical condition that made his bones really weak. Rumors say he wasn't really that active in the streets, but his murder was one of the most brutal hits in the Bronx. Back in 2012, some YG's dudes were allegedly driving and arguing about who put in the most work for the crew. And that's why they decided to slide into OG's territory and take out the first op they spotted. Noah was allegedly by himself walking down the street, so the YG's jumped him and beat him to death. According to reports, Noah tried to run when he spotted the YG's coming for him, but his legs snapped because his bones were so weak, and that's how the YG's what caught him. The they brutally Damn. stomped out Noah and broke his teeth, his jaw, cracked his skull, and made his brain. That nigga ain't had shit to do with nothing, Barry. What the fuck? Like. Y'all just, y'all just tore a nigga up who was easily fragile, like, who was already dying, like, y'all ain't got no heart dying, this shit crazy, bro. They, they don't give a fuck, they, they don't give a fuck, bro. Brain bleed. Nate Bands was just a kid when Noah got killed, but that didn't stop her from dissing him and all of his homies. After she got out of jail, Nate Bands said she wanted to hit the mainstream, was gonna start making music that wasn't just drill rap. In an interview with What NYC Sounds Like, Nay Ben said, you have to take advantage of the time you have when you're not in jail. I just came home, so I understand. Shit happened too fast. Roddy yeah. Rebel spin a Ben's be, twin Who you want to tell they be booked. It happened too fast, so you got to take it while it's there. You got to take the opportunity while it's there. Yeah. Got to go crazy. It seemed like she was heading out of the trenches, and that's why nobody was expecting her to get wrapped up in a Rico case like this. In the same interview, Nay Benz also talks about losing one of her fingers. It's not clear how it happened, because she didn't want to air out the whole situation. But Nay Benz said all the rumors are cap. The ops have been dissing her about the situation, and rumors said the finger got shot off, but nobody knows how it really went down. Nay Benz was picking up a lot of buzz in the rap game after she came home, though, and she even did some college while she was locked up. She didn't get a degree, and Nay Benz she said she ended up getting shit. kicked out because she beat up a dude who was in her class. Nah, he said he was smoking my dad. I walked in and I crashed on bing, bing, bing. Gangster, gangster, ask anybody in there. You can call them right now. Call the book with right now, ask them. I painted this shit. What am I, dad? The males and females lived in different areas where Nate Benz was locked man. up, but everyone went to the same classes. And one of the dudes was allegedly dissing Nate's dead homies, so she put hands on them and got kicked out. It looked like Nate Benz was going to make it in the rap game and wouldn't need any college, but now she's facing some serious prison time. According to court records, Nate Benz got hit with over 20 charges for attempted murder, possession of a firearm, assault, and more. And what makes the situation even worse for is that a lot of her homies got booked on the same case. People That's always end up flipping in Rico cases, and it looks like the cops really want to take Nate Benz down. Police say she's a shot caller in the SB crew, so they'll probably offer her homies a good deal if they'll flip on Nate Benz and throw her under the bus. It's not clear how it's all going to shake New out. York niggas be snitching like a motherfucker. There's no telling what's going to happen next. Somebody going to tell it all. As y'all see, man, SB was getting active. It was getting real slattery, slattery, or whatever the fuck it was. Man, 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 man. I ain't never heard of some of the shit that they did in this bitch. Y'all, bro, don't take it out on people who ain't got nothing to do with nothing. Y'all got to stop doing that shit. Man, be a man, woman, and go handle your business. Hit that like button to get me on the algorithm. Y'all already know, man. Dirt face, nigga, dirt face, two times out of that motherfucker. Hey,